What's going on everybody? You have reached Zach Baby TV. We are officially on our mini road trip to Las Vegas, Nevada. That's right. This is the Vegas vacation video. Now, it is a tradition for us. Either one, we start at Starbucks if it's, you know, a, a, a short trip. But for longer trips, we go to Jack in the Box. That's right. And if you're on the East Coast, Midwest, I'm sorry because you don't have Jack in the Box. But out here on the West Coast, we do. So we're going to get on the road and we will see you soon. Oh my gosh, guys. It is super spooky and foggy. I think we're entering Silent Hill right now. Oh, I'm getting goosebumps. Alright guys, we're officially in Las Vegas, no I'm just kidding, but we just crossed the border into Nevada, welcome to Nevada. you heard that, welcome to Nevada, my navigation just told me, we are officially border hoppers again, now we are in route to Las Vegas, we got about 38 more miles, and we will be at our destination at Caesars Palace, you heard it right guys, from Zach Baby TV. Well, we are entering Las Vegas and there's a crazy thunderstorm right now. It is raining cats and dogs with lightning bolts. Oh my God! You hear that? That thunder? Woo! They know Zach Baby TV's coming to town and it's about to get spooky up in here. Oh my goodness! Whoa! This is nuts, guys! Whoa! Oh my god! Alright, guys, we have officially made it to Caesar's Palace! Ha <laughs> ha! Yeah! Here's the left lane to turn left onto Caesar's Palace Drive. We Thank have arrived at our destination. Turn left and get all that goodness. Oh shit. Guys, we have arrived at Caesar's Palace. We are here heading to the lobby to check into our room. You see people are already going at it. Gambling, making their millions. It's beautiful, guys. This place is amazing. Oh my gosh. Okay, conference center, hotel registration. There we go, to the right. All right, guys. We'll take you up to the room. All right, guys, we are on the 30th floor. Can you believe that? We're on the 30th floor, guys in Caesars Palace, Las Vegas, Nevada. I didn't even know it went that high, but actually it goes up to 45 floors. So yeah. Whew. Oh my goodness. Awesome. This kind of reminds me of American Horror Story. Yeah. This is really fancy though. Oh my gosh. 3081, here we go guys. 3081 is our room number. You gotta let me grab a card here. There's probably two of them here. All right, guys, we're entering our room, and I heard it's pretty fancy. Come on in. Oh man, check this out! Woo! Look at those toilet paper rolls. Just kidding. We got the dual sinks and a jacuzzi tub. Oh my gosh, baby, we're so doing it. Oh yeah. Oh my goodness. Got a stand-up shower with the granite. Oh, so look at that jacuzzi tub. Oh my gosh. And look at this beautiful mirror and look at this beautiful guy. Yeah. Wow. This place is really something, baby. 
How do you turn the lights on in this place? Oh my gosh, guys. This is super fancy. Check it out. Got the private desk here. We got the freaking flat screen TV LG. And there's a full bar, they said. So, yeah. Where is that full bar? Oh, it's in here. Full bar of goodness. Oh, yeah. Yes, sir. Whew. Whew. Got a nice little dining area for us. Got a nice little L-shaped couch. Lazy boy and a freaking beautiful king-size mattress bed. This place is fancy. Let's take a look outside. We are on the 30th floor, guys. Oh, my goodness. We are high. Woo! Guys, it's like we're standing on the ledge. Woo! 30 floors. Oh, my gosh. We are way up here, guys. Wow. That is really cool. So, we have officially checked into our fabulous luxury room. Highly desired, according to the hostess lady that checked us in we are on the 30th floor full bar flat screen tv king size bed l-shaped couch jacuzzi and a walk-in shower with dual sinks yeah we're living this weekend so anyways we're gonna go ahead and unpack here and then once we unpack we're gonna head into town so see ya what's going on guys we are right now in vegas on the strip eating at the pbr rock bar and grill this place is fantastic. They have, we just had a spinach artichoke, artichoke dip that was awesome and amazing. And right now, I'm sorry, but we've already started eating. I wanted to show you like a before and after plate, but we were so hungry. We just started diving in before I even recorded this. So I'm gonna give you a little hint of the glory that's being shoved in our mouths right now. That is called a PBR bacon cheeseburger it is delicious oh my gosh and Bebe got potato nachos what it is is they shave potatoes and fry them in the chips and she got nachos out of it so awesome and of course gotta have a nice cold brewski anyways guys see ya welcome to Zach baby TV's Palace, baby! <laughs> Welcome to the entry of Zach Baby TV's private gambling. Look at this fabulous bar. It is beautiful. Look at the water. That is really cool. Oh my gosh. Look at that, the size of Caesar, Caesar's penis. <laughs> Guys, this is a restaurant and it is absolutely beautiful. Wow. I mean, you get to sit down and feel like a, like a Greek god and enjoy your meal. That is so cool, guys. Guys, if you ever went on an escalator, that turned. This is super cool. Autobots, Autobots. Yeah. What is going on guys? You have reached Zach Baby TV and we have officially arrived at Pawn Stars. That's right. Check it out. We're officially here from the TV show Pawn Stars. <laughs> Now, we're gonna go inside and check it out. So come on. Pictures are okay, but no videos, please. No, okay. This is so cool. Wow. 
Now you've seen it here first, guys. You recognize that man, guys? From Pawn Stars. Giving an interview. Here he is, guys. Chum Lee from Pawn Stars. Here, live. We have the infamous Predator. We're about to have a romantic ride, guys. I swear it's like we're in Italy. Look at those big old hoo hoos. Oh my goodness, that's royalty gold gazungas. What is going on, everybody? You have reached Sack Baby TV. We are in Las Vegas, partying it up, gambling it up. We just left the casino. <coughs> we were debating on going to the buffet, as we were told to, or walking the strip and having a blast and doing what the hell, whatever we want to do. But look at me, look behind me. It's Paris, I swear it. Check it out. Oh. You got the, the Flamingo, Caesar's Palace, that's where we're staying at, it's beautiful. Flamingo Hotel, the Comwell, you got Bally's Casino, I mean, it is lit, Bailey's, and yeah, check that out right there, oh my, it's beautiful, oh my gosh, are they calling Batman? <laughs> This is some serious skill right here. Planet Hollywood, yeah! Yeah, getting the Miami Vice, guys. 36 ounces of slushy alcohol. Watch the magic. You want a shot too, or is that good for you, babe? Look at that, that's beautiful. It's fine. That's amazing. All right, 16 All right. 
Sorry guys. We're about to enjoy this night. So, baby, tell me, how do you like that alcoholic Slurpee? It's good. It's good? Would you recommend it to anybody else visiting Las Vegas? Yes. The Sin City of America? Yeah. It is delicious. I knew it. Woohoo! Check it out, guys. Is this the secret headquarters of the Mass Mutant? Because I see a Goosebumps elevator. That's freaking cool. That's right. We got roller coasters here, guys. And Hershey's Chocolate Late World. Amazing. MGM Studios. Oh, yeah. We're having a gay old time out here on the Las Vegas Strip, guys. As you can see, there's tons of lights behind me. There's shops everywhere. People are handing out cards to different types of attractions, yes. We're in Vegas, there's a lot of strip clubs, there's a lot of escorts and nastiness out here. But honestly, you can come to Vegas and just have an amazing, clean, and fun time. I personally love Vegas the most because I could walk around and drink and smoke without having to worry about police. Um, but yeah, you don't have to go out here and be filthy and you know worry about any kind of nonsense. You could actually come out here and have an awesome time. And that's what we're doing. Me and my wife are just out here walking about and sightseeing all this amazing stuff that you see behind me. And this strip is long. I mean, there's so many different hotels and casinos, different headquarters. We just went inside like the, the M&M's headquarters. It was four stories. It was awesome, guys. So we're gonna keep on cruising and see what other cool stuff we find. That's Gucci. Now guys, we're gonna end the night with a fabulous jacuzzi dip. Heck yeah, guys. This is how you end a long night on the Las Vegas Strip. You take off your clothes, you put your tootsies in this bad boy, and you relax for the rest of the night, then you go ahead and go to sleep. So we're gonna end this night here, and see ya. All right, guys, well, we are officially leaving our hotel room here at Caesars Palace, and we had a blast. We were up very late hours of the week, over the weekend. Whoa, still a little hungover, that's okay. So, we have to go down to the main lobby now and check out and turn in our keys, and from there, we're gonna have to like stock up on water and just snap, oh my gosh, I left her behind. You okay back there, Ben? Yeah. Sorry. It's okay. We'll wait. We're gonna stock up with water because we have a four and a half, five hour drive home, so we're trying to actually get home a little bit early to avoid any type of traffic that we may hit. Um, and yeah, that's about it, so. Oh, but we do have to stop in Baker, California, which is like no man's land. It's like a like a, a pit stop for gas, and it's a crap hole. It's like it's just disgusting. Overpriced gas, because they know you need it. Um, but there's a place that it called Alien Jerky, which has like hundreds of different types of beef jerky flavors for sale. It's famous. Uh, they just opened one up in Encinitas recently. Uh, I think it's a distributor or somebody made a, you know, somebody said, hey, I want to sell your stuff for you somewhere else. And, you know, he probably gets it at uh, um, a lower price, of course. And then he marks it up the same as they do in Baker and he gets the profit. Anyways, so, yeah. I don't want to leave. 
it's nice out here. But, hey, you know, gotta go when you gotta go. See ya. <laughs> Sucks for you! And that's one big ass thermometer. I hope you're not wearing a jacket because it's saying that you're 95 degrees right now, guys. We are officially here, guys. An alien jerky. World famous alien jerky. Check it out, it even looks like a space station. That is cool. Look at the doors. That is cool. Let's go inside, shall we? Whoa. Cool. Alien fortune teller. Cool. We got some cool shirts, alien shirts. Area 51, that's cool. We got toys. That is cool. They got mugs, they got backpacks here. Different cool little drinks, some root beers. Water, soda, and dun dun dun! Tons of jerky, guys. I mean, tons of jerky. So many different flavors. I mean, cool. I mean this place is packed. It's got everything in here. Even got more jerky. We've got walls and walls of jerkiness. Oh my gosh, it's so much jerky and spice is here. The aliens have blessed us with jerky. Wow. Different sauces. And it's more jerky, this is jerky everywhere. Just jerk in your face. Yeah. Wow. This place is really cool. Oh, look, look at them water chugs. That's so cool. You got the cool mugs here. Cowboy aliens. That is freaking sweet, guys. There you have it. You've seen it here first. What's going on, everybody? You have reached Zach Baby TV, and I'm just hanging out here inside the spaceship of the, of the alien jerky place. I'm hanging out here with my buddy Bob. Is it okay if I call you Bob? You look like a Bob. Anyways, you just hooked me up with a lot of this awesome Indian beef jerky in Baker, California. So awesome, delicious. They got over like 30 different types of beef jerkies and it's just fabulous. And they have all kinds of books and decorations, backpacks, t-shirts. They have it all guys. Simply awesome, and so you've seen a real life alien here for the first time. Zach Baby TV. See you later, Bob. What's going on, guys? You have reached me once again. We're already gone from Vegas. We've already picked up some awesome alien beef jerky. Now we are at the famous 50s diners, Peggy Sue. You can read it behind you. Peggy Sue's 50s Diner. This place is 
in the middle of nowhere, guys, and it is like 97 degrees out here. But I love 50s stuff. I was, uh, you know, I, I'm very close to my grandparents, so I've always had that influence, you know, from the 50s and everything. It was just a great time period. But yeah, we're about to come into this awesome hole in the wall diner and see what it's all about, guys. We are here waiting to sit down, guys. It's like we have stepped back in time. Got your Betty Boops. The King. All kinds of stuff. Half this place is a souvenir shop with some awesome stuff. Got some great old school frameworks. They even got their own ice cream over here. Delicious, guys. Delicious. Hard at work with the, with the quenching hunger of ice cream. All kinds of goodness, guys. This is great. Super cool. Oh, you already know, guys. And our hostess, Betty Boop herself. Got some great memorabilia stuff here, guys. Really cool. Oh my gosh. I just found the coolest thing ever. Who remembers Laurel and Hardy? Those guys are amazing. I, I've watched all their movies and episodes. Very great. Oh my gosh. It's like stepping back in time. I love it. It's just amazing. They got pies here, guys. This is wow. It's a maze. It's just wonderful. I love it. Thank you. This place is great. Wow, we're going to sit down and eat, guys. Guys, we just got our food, and I just got the King Kong half pound cheeseburger with curly fries, cheese and broccoli soup. She got the 50 style cheeseburger again with the cheese and broccoli soup with the cherry milkshake. Guys, this place is fantastic. Peggy Sue's 50s Diner. Now I'm going to let you go because I want to eat. See ya. Mm -hmm. Look how big it is. Huge. Mm. Mm. 